Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. A very, very happy new year to you and your families. Uh, in this video, I wanted to highlight a couple of very interesting and exciting uh, changes to the swing signal service. In addition to the algorithm that we have on the swing trades, you might have seen this column here with the very bullish, uh, very bearish and the neutral and things like that. Uh, I'm also going to be adding the very powerful multi time frame trend indicator. So this is going to help us with trade entries as well as uh, trade exits. So just as an example, I'll just cycle through a couple of these. Uh, as you can see, if we had taken a trade on booking based on the multi time frame uh, trend indicator, we would have been into this trade for a few days, maybe a couple of weeks. And then when we see this uh, red dots appearing, that's when we would exit. So we uh, sort of try to maximize uh, the profits, optimize the trade entry and maximize the profits. So on this case, booking would have been a, a very good trade. And so this is going to be incorporated from January. The swing signal service is starting on Monday, January 6th. And uh, this powerful indicator is going to help us with uh, some great trades because uh, the entry is completely optimized. We're going to enter when things are looking good uh, in terms of all the indicators aligning. I might take a trade uh, slightly ahead of time when I see four of them aligning, but uh, that will be a call uh, we'll take on a case by case basis. But for the most part, we are going to rely on the master level indicator uh, where, uh, where all the uh, five different time frames are aligned. The lowest row, as you know, is the daily chart. We are looking at a one year daily chart. And then the next row is the two days trend. And, and the third row is the three days trend. The fourth row is the four day trend. And the fifth row is the weekly trend. And so this is going to give us a multi dimensional view of what the price action is. And so uh, there is no ambiguity in, in the sense that if the price is going up, you'll see these uh, you'll see these uh, indicators aligned. And if it breaks down, you'll see the red dots coming up or it, it could be the other way. Also, if you're taking a bearish trade, then uh, you'll see the green dots appearing. So this is going to be very powerful for the swing signal service. And uh, this is one of the things I'll be introducing. Also, the second change is uh, you may have noticed uh, we probably take uh, trades with about 30 days to expiry. I'm going to increase that to about 45 days to 50 days because sometimes time decay starts eroding the option value. And uh, this is also going to be an improvement on the swing signal service. It gives us a little bit more leeway in terms of managing our trades. So these are the two big improvements in the swing signal service. And um, from January to 2020 onwards, we're going to see some significant improvement in the performance of the swing signals. So let me just cycle through a couple of uh, stocks over here. Let's go to Facebook and see what Facebook is looking like. Now, Facebook is a decent entry here, as you can see. Uh, you know, it had a slight bit of a bullish run for about five, six days, and then it broke off a couple of days. Now it's back to bullish. When we want to see um, the master level indicator either turning once or twice uh, to the green, then we want to take a bullish trade. Similarly, if you wanted to take a bearish trade, we'd wait for one or two uh, of the master level indicator to come in and that's when we take the trade. So for here, for example, we could have taken the trade on this or on this and we could have ridden it all the way here. Similarly, right now, it uh, looks, looks a little bullish. However, there is geopolitical concerns uh, you know, around the world right now. And so we'll have to watch the market a little bit. But uh, just wanted to demonstrate this over here. Tesla, of course, is been bullish, very bullish. And as you can see, once again, Tesla also is showing some signs of uh, getting back into a bullish mode. However, it remains to be seen what happens on the geopolitical front. On uh, Friday, Jan 2nd, uh, we had uh, the ES go down about 23 points. Uh, it actually went down even further. So we'll be looking at those issues also, but strictly from a indicator and from a trade entry and trade exit standpoint, you can see that uh, our accuracy and our profitability is going to be significantly improved with the multi time frame trend indicator. If you have any questions, please send us an email at uh, info at or you can click on the link in the next slide. Thank you.